next first time countdown's worst persons in the world. The bronze tonight to the formerly funny Ben Stein, who in the latest in a series of increasingly disturbing remarks has now criticized Obama for scheduling his speech accepting the Democratic nomination at Denver's Invesco Field instead of inside the Pepsi Center. That is not the way we do things in political parties in the United States of America, Stein says. We have a contained number of people in an arena. 75,000 people at an outdoor sports palace. Well, that's something the Fuhrer would have done. All right, let's just skip the undeserved Nazi illusion and assume it's some sort of symptom of some sort of silent stroke. This is not the way we do things. Ben, any recognition that the GOP was talking about having Bush deliver his 2004 acceptance speech in front of 60,000 at Yankee Stadium? Or that all the NBA games were stopped the night he announced his invasion of Iraq and his speech was broadcast on the jumbotrons in 10 different arenas, total attendance about 175,000? The runner-up, Bill o the Clown, who on the radio suddenly blurted out, I wouldn't work for NBC News. You know, NBC News offered me a ton of money. I don't know if I've ever said this. Have I ever said this before? They offered me a ton of money to go over there, and I said no. They offered me more than I'm making now at Fox. Okay? The reason I'm saying this is because now NBC News attacks me every day. I checked with the relevant bosses whose memory of this was like mine. Sometimes in time in 99, more likely 2000 or 2001, NBC made an informal overture to O'Reilly, like, if you ever want to leave, let us know. No offer, no money figure, no ton. And now he thinks we attack him every day because he wouldn't come work here. And he wouldn't work here, mind you, but he's gone on the Today Show 10 times for free since 2001, and as recently as 20 months ago. But our winner, Representative Duncan Hunter of California, whose office recently notified the U.S. Embassy in Chad that the congressman would be delighted to visit that country and distribute food at a refugee camp. Of course, there was a catch. Mr. Hunter only wanted to distribute the food if he could first hunt the food himself. Wildebeest. He wanted to hunt wildebeest in the nation of Chad, kill some of them, and then personally give the meat to starving refugees. The Chadian government said, well, gosh, thanks. But there are two problems. Hunting large animals and mammals like wildebeest is illegal in Chad. And, oh, by the way, there aren't any wildebeest in Chad. Undeterred, Congressman Hunter has now reportedly transferred his interest in helping the refugees to Kenya, Tanzania, and South Africa, where there are still wildebeest to be slaughtered. I'm sorry, distributed to refugees. Congressman Duncan Great White Hunter, today's worst person in the world.